Hi, today's the end of July. We are in beautiful Forest Park of St. Louis. And we got some uh, turtles over here. Look at that. Just saying hi. Down here, there you go. Anyway, this park is six miles in circumference. It's larger than Central Park in New York. And there's tons and tons of things to see here. We have a huge selection of plants and animals. Here we have some southern cattail down here. The little hot dog uh, flowers or clusters. We have a huge variety of trees. We have what's called Forest Park Tree Walk. We have 90 different species of beautiful, beautiful trees. We have lakes, museums, statues, all sorts of birds, water birds, and shorebirds alike. We have uh, lots of animals like minks, fox, deer, coyotes. So this park, it opened in 1876, gets about 12 million visitors each year, and it's uh, 1,300 acres in total. And I'll show you some of the plants, some of the trees, some of the highlights, but not too many because I don't have all day. Now we have over 200 different species of trees, including cottonwoods, we have a shagbark hickory, aspens, dogwoods, black cherry, pin oaks. We have two famous trees here. One's called the red buckeye. He's the largest red buckeye in the state of Missouri. And we have a mahogany cucumber as well. So the best place to find these trees, you go along Forest Park Tree Walk, kind of on the edge of the park, it's dedicated to lots and lots of trees like we have here. Wow, look at that big pine tree. Holy moly. This is great. So we have a lot of what's called purple coneflower. You kind of see a purpurea. It's also known as a hedgehog cornflower. So this plant here with the little white creamy flowers, it's called Jacinia. There's about 50 different species. I'm not sure which one this is. They come from Australia and New Zealand, but they're uh, invasive out here in Missouri. So this purple spike right here, this is called Prairie Blazing Star. Liatris pycnostachia. He's called a cattail blazing star. He's a type of tall grass, they call it. He's got little lance-like leaves right here that grow up the stalk. And you get this uh, inflorescence of beautiful purple flowers at the uh, flower spike here. Hey, check out this beautiful purple shrub. These little palmate leaves he has here, right? Wow. Hey, this is a common nine bark or an Eastern nine bark. Physocarpus opulifolius. So he's a member of the Rosaceae family. And you'll get these uh, called a corium of flowers right up here. And they'll turn white when they're nice and ready. And the reason it's called a nine bark is more flowers. His bark will peel off. Okay. And when it peels, the bark will resemble the number nine. Of course, this guy's pretty easy to recognize. Oh, both of them. So our American Robin, he's hopping around looking for some grub. Usually they eat worms, other little bugs like snails and things they can find. Wow, check out one of our gorgeous trees here. This is a Montezuma bald cypress, sometimes just a Montezuma cypress. Taxodium mucronatum. That's his scientific name. So he's native to Mexico and Guatemala. So for here, he's just this beautiful, ornamental plant we have. Wow. Hey, we have lots of these little tiny flowers that come up. 
they almost look like little kind of primrose type flowers. This is called a field bindweed or a field bindweed. It looks like a weed, but well, it's called a weed. I think it's a flower. Convolvulus arvensis. That's his scientific name. Here, this guy is a uh, morning dove. Here we have the ice skating rink. Of course, it's summer, so it's not open for skating yet, but come back in winter and have a good day. And the pretty flower we have here is called a black-eyed Susan. It's got a little pollinator on him. Right there. Check that out. He gets his name Black-Eyed Susan, obviously, from his black eye. Rudbeckia herta. Wow, just some of our pine trees, aspens, oak trees. It's got black oak up here, cottonwoods, all sorts of vines, mixed grasses. This really pretty purple flower up here He's called Missouri Ironweed. He's a perennial. He's an Asteraceae. So he uh, related to sunflowers, daisies, almost all our all our plants like that are flowering, like this. They're all Asteraceae for the most part. Check out these giant, giant leaves and uh, fruits on this guy. All right. He's called a Northern Catalpa. At least that's how I call him. He's Catalpa speciosa. Speciosa means showy. He's a really showy tree. He's got this. I mean, look, here's my hand up against a tree. The guy's huge. Check that out, all the way around. He's got these deep furrows of shaggy, shaggy bark. Coming down, you know, a little bit peely. So the birds gotta love uh, getting insects out of them. This beautiful tree here is called Royal Red Maple, also called a Crimson King. Fantastic. He's Acer rubrum, and uh, he's got great bark. I'll show you how the bark kind of twists around, so it has these uh, serrations or fissures. They don't run vertical, they twist around the, the trunk here. Wow. He's got these beautiful purple leaves, I'll show you, here. Look at that deep purple. Wow, at the top, and then on the bottom, he's just got, you know, Olive drab, a super good definition of his veins. So this beautiful tree here, it's an oak tree. It's called a Northern Red Oak. He grows like 140 feet tall. He's Quercus rubra. He's a red oak. And he's a red oak because of his red bark. Take a closer look at it here. Just shaggy red bark. See that? Makes him a red oak. Here we have another real tall oak tree. A little thinner. It's called a swamp Spanish oak. It's got the uh, like lobed leaves here. A little funny little pattern. It's got little acorns. See little acorns. Okay, and the little casing there. Beautiful flowers all along the trail. So check this one out. This is a black walnut tree. It's not super tall, but he's got these huge walnuts on him. These are black walnuts before they, oop, before they turn black. That's okay. Because um, usually that's how they operate. They kind of fall in the ground and kind of turn black on their own. Wow. This pretty bridge here was built in 1885. It's called the Victorian Footbridge, and it served as the original entrance from the streetcar line 
for the park. But it was renovated in 1994 and brought out here over a little river. Wow. It's called the Victorian Bridge. Beautiful. This flowering or fruiting guy, he's an elder or an elderberry. Comes from the genus Sambucus or Sambucus, if you want. And there's lots of uh, different species. We have these out in California. They kind of look alike, but they look a lot different as well. And they get little purple berries. They start out green, then they'll ripen and get real purple. But I like the way the the purple, uh, called the flower stalk, comes off of the, uh, the stem here. Wow. All right, we've got some more pretty flowers. All in bloom. We have lots of little benches. You can sit and rest. Enjoy the park. Here's another Montezuma cypress. Wow, he's a lot taller. He's got some uh, nuts here, some fruits. It'll open up later on and release the seeds out of here. So these little structures are really cool, all right? So here's our uh, Montezuma cypress here, right here, and these are the roots. So the roots of the cypress tree, they'll go out like 50 feet, and the ones that are submerged underwater, imagine the water level goes up and down, they'll come up in these little structures or root, you know, risings, and these are called knees. Just like your knee on your leg, it's called a knee of this uh, Montezuma cypress. <laughs> it extends all around this entire bank. Wow, it's so weird looking. Got another great bridge here. So here we have a big spruce tree. Wow, absolutely fantastic. So the needles of our spruce Hey, they're a little bit different than a pine tree. Also real soft. So anyway, I'm gonna show you uh, the weather because it's getting a little scary here. I think we're gonna have a lightning storm. So I already heard the thunder. Anyway, this is our beautiful July St. Louis weather. Alright, well, the rain is definitely here, so I'm going to call this video a day. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'm certainly going to come back. Wow, enjoy this place again. What a great place to come to. Alright, have a great day. Bye.